Welcome back everyone, this is Dragon in White here and we are back with another episode of Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, well, the first installment of it at least. And uh, let's jump in. Last we left off, left off which is just uh, actually a few minutes ago for me but one day ago for you guys, I am about to embark on the final sequence of this game. And there's a good chance where I'm going to finish the entire series in this or the next episode. So we'll see how this goes. It seems you have yet to translate all your Codex pages, Nipote. Go and see Leonardo and have him make sense of their contents. Only then can we begin. Wait, have I not, uh, have I not translated all of them yet? It seems you have yet to no, translate all your it. Codex pages, Nipote. Go and see Leonardo and have him make sense of their contents. Only then can we begin. <sighs> For it. I did not realize I could speak to Leonardo. Where is- oh wait, Leonardo is here. Okay, that is convenient. Phew! Leonardo! Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha! -ha, you found another one! How exciting! Thanks all of them. Alright, that's it. No more. This one's easy. You just move every other letter. Here. Okay, three pages deciphered. That is everything. Okay, time to fix them in. Ezio! It is time, uncle. Let us finish what you and my father started all those years ago. Indeed. Perhaps now we can finally make sense of this prophecy and put a stop to whatever it is the Spaniard is plotting. We should start by locating the vault. The Codex pages will lead us to it. Let's take a look. Okay, time for a simple puzzle which I already solved majority of. Okay, let's Rodrigo take a look at this. Borgia, aka the Spaniard. A dark stain on human history, Rodrigo left a trail of blood a mile wide on his quest to unify Italy under the Templar banner. Anyone who opposed him ended up in little pieces inside a sack, or if he was in a good mood, poisoned. Once he was crowned Pope, Rodrigo, or should I say Alexander VI, used his influence to wage war with any city that held out against the Templars. And then there were the rumored X-rated atrocities. Hundreds of courtesans brought to the Vatican by the cartload and the Pope's close friendship with his illegitimate daughter, Lucrezia. Oh yeah, and did I mention the killings never stopped? Throughout all his public debauchery, Rodrigo was quietly murdering his enemies behind the scenes, consolidating Templar power for the moment when they would seize control. Okay. Well, time to put them in the proper places. Oh, that was for the apple, okay. Let's see, this needs rotation, this and this, there we go. It is a map of the entire world, but there are lands shown here that do not exist. Apparently they do exist. I imagine they've yet to be discovered, or rediscovered. How is this possible? Perhaps the vault will hold the answer. Do you see where it is then? No. It can't be. The vault. It looks like the vault is in Roma. Then the Spaniard. This is why he became Pope. Now I understand. It's not the vault alone he's gained access to, but the staff as well. What staff? The Codex always spoke of two keys. Two pieces of Eden needed to open the vault. One is the apple. And the other is the staff. The papal staff is the second piece of Eden. For years, no, decades, we've sought these answers. And now, at last, we have them. But so too could the Spaniard. And if he does, if he finds a way into the vault, its contents will make the apple seem a trifling thing. I must go to Roma and find the vault. What of the rest of you? 
We'll do what we do best. Cause some trouble in the city, giving you the freedom to conduct your search. Just let me know when you are ready, Nipote. I mean, it's youth the prophet, or is it Desmond? In any case, uh, one of the two are required to enter anyway. So even if he has the staff, doesn't really Roma matter. Beckons, Ezio. Let me know when you are ready to depart. I am ready. So I got all the viewpoints settled. Get it all of them. I'm guessing Rome, nothing much to explore. Just get in, get the stuff, get out. End of game. Alright, it's a chance to take a look at Rome at least. Or um, likely Vatican City, specifically. In that's where the Pope is likely to be at. And although it's possible that Vatican City came about later, I'm not sure on my history of this. Infiltrate the Sistine Chapel, assassinate Rodrigo Borgia, the Spaniard. Okay. How do I infiltrate? I assume some climbing is involved. There we go. A little obvious, I think. Test of my parkour skills. Alright, this is definitely new. Castle San San Angelo. Built between 135 and 139. As the tomb of the Roman Emperor Hadrian, the Castle San Angelo was designed to be slightly larger than the Menaslum of Augustus. Because, as this database has shown time and again, size does matter. The building was converted into a military fortress in 401 and promptly sacked by Visigoth looters in 410, who scattered Hadrian's ashes everywhere. What was left was recycled, basically stolen by the Vatican. In 14th century, the tomb was converted into a castle for the popes and connected to St. Peter's via a covered passageway called the Passetto di Borgo. Reflecting the delightfully sadistic side of Renaissance Palpo rule, the castle contained both sumptuous apartments and a prison. Giordano Bruno, the famous scientist and hermeticist, was held there for six years. Execution were carried out in the small interior courtyard for the Pope's enjoyment. Ooh, that is dark. Alright, so. I'd be guessing it'd be good for some degree of stealth. Like this. <laughs> nah, fight my way through. That's the easiest way. New thought, come on, show me the new thought. Not much use of it. Oh well. Get this, open this up. Alright, just jump over. There we go. Problem is always settled just by killing all of them. Doesn't matter how long it takes. Why are you jumping down? I'm lazy. Clear the 
They're losing me only because because you suck. This is a much easier way to climb. Okay. So I'm guessing uh, this bit is probably a, a huge um, parkour segment. So many guys. They say that new contraption from Padua does wonders to a man's balls, yes? Get the other first. Get him! Can I not catch him? Bring it on! Die, man! Okay. Let's see, what is this? Uh, Basilica di San Pietro, the original St. Peter's Basilica, built in 326 as opposed to the epic basilica that exists today, was constructed in the form of a Latin cross. An eight outram called the Garden of Paradise stood at the entrance, beckoning followers through the main doorways of the church. Unlike pagan temples, which were lavish lavishly decorated, the facade of St. Peter's was plain. Thankfully, Catholicism got over all that when they made the new St. Peter's. Of course, the downside was that the religion became incredibly corrupt. But hey, beauty has to come at a price. The Basilica was built on top of the old circus of Nero, but before you could start pulling out your popcorn and cotton candy, this wasn't a, mo wasn't a modern circus. The Roman crucifixions of Christians were the main act. St. Peter, among many others, was hung up to die there. The basilica was built on top of this anti-Christian site as almost an intentional modification of history by Emperor Constantine because if it no longer exists, it never happened, right? And uh, just for extra information, St. Peter, uh, well, for Protestant Christians, known him as the Apostle Peter, um, he was hung upside down. Now, let's see. Up there. Assassino! Assassino! Yeah, immediately found. I figured. Wait, horse right? Really? Why? <laughs> Meh, not that I can care. So there won't be enough of you left to bury! <laughs> Horses. Hey, hey. Oh, that's how. Close the gate. Stop the intruder. Hey. 
Well, honestly, I don't care about this. Okay, fine. Gates, so be it. Stop the gates. I shall climb my way up. It's a kind of a... Uh, okay, fine. So that's how you want to play this. We work together! We must try to keep your breathing. Crouchy is the way Crouchy last for your flesh in a few short strokes. What up is all it? Just like that night in Alpha! Well, I assume I can no longer get through with horses, so uh, up the normal way. Should be getting close. A little too easy, but okay, just to the top of that one. And one dive. Those two there. Oh, I did not see these fellas. Right, there we go. And the last one. Probably more to it actually. Yeah, it's a checkpoint. Okay, so uh, well, on the way to the next checkpoint, I think this is a good time to start doing my uh, usual shameless blocks. So as many of you know, um, I am the translator of Immortal and Martial Dual Cultivation. So this is a Chinese web novel that I translate and release on gravitytales.com. Um, it is free to read and the link's down in the description below. And chapters are being released daily. Um, do check it out. Okay, and along with it, uh, I, I earn my main income from Patreon. So if you like, if you like what I do, both the YouTube or the novel, do consider supporting on Patreon, as that is how I actually manage to get through uh, my bills and stuff like that. Kind of important actually. And uh, yeah, so also with uh, Patreon, you gain access to my stockpile, early access chapters and yeah and aside from that i also have a merch store also check it out consider buying some of the stuff uh, my merch store has things like t-shirts and stuff like that mostly with my profile picture on them and um Yeah, that is uh, most of the uh, shameless plugs. Everything is down in the description below, so uh, check them out. Easy access, one click link. Any last words? Go! How did I manage to do that? There we go. Mm. 
Nope, that was not it. Aha. Uh -huh. Another level. Remain undetected. That's not gonna be easy. Where do you think he's from? Beer! Just let me go! Maledizione! Hold on! Oh! Well... So much for stealth... Um, I wonder if I could have started from the very start. Or just this room. Hopefully just this room. No, from the very start. Got this one is simple enough. Get this. Run! Fear! Too much! Too hot for me. Hmm. Another Okay. Somehow I managed to clear that. Maybe I wasn't meant to kill them. Credo in unum deum patrem omnipotentem factorem. Let's see. Sistine Chapel, Chapella Sistina. Text for it. Inspired by the architecture of Solomon's Temple, the Sistine Chapter Chapel is the most famous room in the apostolic, apostolic Palace, the Pope's Vatican residence. The chapel's famous ceiling frescoes did not exist yet in 1503. So no climbing across the finger of God, but the wall paintings that line the chapel painted by Pietro Perugino, Sandro Botticelli, and Domic Domenico Gerlandale, among others, are an ample consolation prize. As the Pope's personal chapel, Mass is frequently held inside, as are the Pulpo Concave, which occur after the Pope's death. The Cardinals are locked inside the chapel and are not permitted to leave until a new Pope is elected. Only through smoke signals sent up a chimney to announce the new Pope can they escape. The worst and the and worst of all horrors, no cardinals, unless you can be attended inside by more than one servant. Texas Crow. Well, at least you got servants, come on. Visibilium omnium et invisibilium. Et in unum dominum Jesum Christum, filium de inugenitum. Et ex patre I think he's giving a sermon. Deum de Deo, lumen de lumine, deum verum de Deo vero. I bet he comes back to life. I seem to recall something like that. I thought... I thought I was beyond this. But 
but I'm not. I've waited too long, lost too much. Requiescat in pace, you Grab bastard. Head, I, bet. I don't think so. And now a big final boss fight. No! What's that? Sucking up the life? How is it you resist? I see. Kind of you to bring me the apple. Now give it here! <laughs> oh, is the fighter. Just like your father. Well, rejoice, my child. For you will see him again soon. You will give it to me. As you wish. Fascinating. An impressive power, this. But if you think it's going to save you, another thing coming. I'll cut you down, assassin! There we go. No, you will not take this from me. It's finished, Rodrigo. Lay down your arms, and I will make sure the end comes swiftly. Really, Enzo? And would you give up so easily were it the other way around? What? Why don't we find out? Too much drama. At last. And now, to deal with you. Secret passage down. Really, where's my target? There it is. Another one here. What is this place? This is probably Open, the fault. It's over, Rodrigo. No more tricks. No more ancient artifacts. No more weapons. Let us see what you are made of, old man. Seriously, All right, this fight. If that's how you want to play it. Just use weapons. What do you even want with the vault, Rodrigo? Don't you know what lies within? Or do you mean to tell me? The great and powerful assassins didn't figure it out. Figure what out? You expect me to believe that gold lives beneath Il Vaticano? 
A more logical location than a kingdom in a cloud, don't you think? Surrounded by singing angels and cherubim makes for a lovely image. But the truth is far more interesting. Let's say I was to believe you. What do you think you'll do when you open that door? I don't care. It's not approval I'm after. Just power. And you think you'll give it up? Whatever lies beyond that wall won't be able to resist the staff and apple. They were made for fairy gods. God is meant to be all-knowing, all-powerful. You think a couple of ancient relics can harm him? You know nothing, boy. You take your image of the creators from an ancient book. You are the Pope, and yet you dismiss the central text of your faith? <laughs> are you so naive? I became... There we go. Finally got him. You can't. You can't. It's my destiny. Mine. I am the prophet. You never were. Get it over with then. No. Oh, no, why? Won't Come bring on. My family back. But it will solve a lot of I problems can't. if you do. Come on, kill him. Nulla è reale, tutto è lecito. Requiescat in pace. How is he resting in peace? He's still alive. Come on. You, you are the prophet. Come on. Well, it looks like, even though currently the time here on my recording is 32 minutes, I normally end around now, but it looks like this is... I'm gonna finish off everything in this episode, so this is the final episode, fellas. Greetings, Prophet. It is good you have come. Let us see it, to give thanks. I thought the apple was on the stuff. That makes no sense. We must speak. Who are you? Many names. When I died, it was Minerva. Before that, Merva and Mera. And on and on. The others too. Juno, who was before called Uni. Jupiter, who was before called Tinia. <laughs> no, not gods. We simply came before. Even when we walked the world, your kind struggled to understand our existence. We were more advanced in time. Your minds were not yet ready. Still not. Maybe never. No matter. You may not comprehend us, but you will comprehend our warning. You must. None of what you are saying makes sense. Our words are not meant for you. What are you talking about? There's no one else here. Enough. I do not wish to speak with you, but through you. You are the prophet. You've played your part. You anchor him, but please be silent that we may commune. Listen. Okay, so Adzio when is a prophet. When we were still flesh and our home still whole, your kind betrayed us. We who made you. We who gave you life. We were strong, but you were many. 
and both of us craved war. So busy were we with earthly concerns, we failed to notice the heavens. And by the time we did, the world burned until naught remained but ash. It should have ended then and there. But we built you in our own image. We built you to survive. And so we did. Few were our numbers, your kind and mine. It took sacrifice, strength, compassion. But we rebuilt. And as life returned to the world, we endeavored to ensure this tragedy would not be repeated. But now we are dying and time will work against us. Truth turned into myth and legend. What we built, misunderstood. Let my words preserve the message and make a record of our loss. But let my words also bring hope. You must find the other temples, built by those who knew to turn away from war. They worked to protect us, to save us from the fire. If you can find them, if their work can be saved, so too might this world. Be quick, for time grows short, and guard against the cross, for there are many who will stand in your way. Okay. Is there more? It is done. There we go. The message is delivered. We are gone now from this world. All of us. We can do no more. The rest is up to you, Desmond. What? Ha! Who is Desmond? I don't understand. Please, wait. I have so many questions. What the fuck? And that's it, the end of the first part of the Assassin's Creed 2 trilogy. After this, I will be continuing the next installment of this alongside with Dragon Ball Kakarot. So do stay tuned, continue to watch and uh, let's uh, maybe let the thing roll and see if there's an after credit. There's only about 10 minutes until I get all this. All my ready to go before they do. Desmond! Yeah, yeah. All right, Sean, I need you and Rebecca to get everything in here packed up and load it into the truck. You and I will deal with the Templars. What, they're here? It was Ooh, only a matter of time fighting. before they discovered us. To be honest, I'm surprised it took them as long as it did. Let's go. Right, time to fight. So, what's the plan? We ditch this place and then what? There's another safe house. It's, we've got company. The truck's just up ahead. Mr. Miles, this is an unexpectedly pleasant turn of events. And here I thought I'd have to waste more men on you. Kind of you to save me the trouble. What do you want, Vidic? For you to come home. We miss you terribly. There's still so much work for us to do together. It's not happening, Warren. You continue to disappoint in every conceivable way, Miss Stillman. I saved your life once. Do you remember? And this is how you repay me? You saved me so you could keep experimenting on people, destroying their lives. And for what? Oh, this tired argument again. As I recall, you were there, at my side, every step of the way. Their blood is on your hands just as much as mine. You need to stop him. I'm on it.
It's kind of harder not being able to see their health. I suppose this makes sense. The health I see could have been a heads up display of sort granted by the um, Animus. And since this is real life, I see no heads up display. Let's see if I can go for a good doctor straight. Nope. I look forward to the next uh, installment because from what I recall, uh, the next installment actually gives me the ability to chain assassinate or chain kill. That is going to make my life a lot easier. Although I do recall that the 100% uh, synchronization rate thing kind of make things a bit more difficult. If you are perfectionist, it's going to be tough. Uh oh, Doc. Looks like it's just you and me now. Enjoy your victory, Mr. Miles. Temporary as it is. Desmond, we have to go! There you are. Come on. Help Lucy into the van. Hurry, Desmond. We need to go. You'll have your turn, Desmond. Warren's gonna get what he deserves. I promise. Too bad he doesn't die. So what now? Where are we headed? There's a cabin up north. We should be safe there. At least for a little while. I have to analyze those tapes from your session. Figure out what's happening. And then what? Here we go. I've got you all hooked up. Got a long drive ahead of us. Figured you might want to play around with the Animus on the way. All right, but I got some questions first. I mean, what the hell was that in the vault? What you saw proves everything I was afraid of. The Templars aren't our biggest threat. Not by a long shot. So what, the sun is? What's it gonna do, cook the Earth? I doubt it, but I don't know. There's been some speculation that the Earth's magnetic field is weakening. A sufficiently strong flare could flip the poles and cause a geomagnetic reversal. It's all theoretical, but if it happens, the planet could become geologically unstable. Very unstable. It's meant to be the stuff of pseudoscience, but clearly something catastrophic happened to the people of the first civilization. And that woman, what was her name? Minerva, was it? She seemed to think we were due for a second round. So either way, we're fucked. I don't know yet. We'll keep reviewing the tapes. And you can keep digging through your memories. Maybe there's more to discover. All right. Guess I better get started. There probably is with the truth under subject's extent. I'm not sure if I want to go through that, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Right, and that should be... I think for real this time, we should be at the end of it. And we're just going through um, credits. Oh, I can skip that. Okay. And um, I go inside the animus. And that should be it. That's everything. Where am I though? Am I in Rome? These are all the enemies I killed. I'm gonna grab all the money I can. Nothing else here. Alright, down I go. Oh, I think this must be some secret passage, I think, of the house. Uh, yeah, it is. This is the mother's room. Okay, well, that's it then. Uh, I think maybe before I go off, I will take a look. At the map room, just to see if there's anything there for me. <sighs> it's night out. There's nothing left here. Let's take a look at it. Well, that's it.
I think those are all the temples, so we're gonna have to go to those various areas. And this might be actually a teaser for future episodes. Okay. So uh given that this is uh the fourteenth century, I think fifteenth century, America hasn't exactly been discovered by Europe yet. So that's probably what he meant initially by the undiscovered land. So as we can see here, we have North America, that's probably corner. Uh, we have this area that's to the South America, not too sure. Uh, the one in the um, Africa, I think that's near Ghana. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, there's one in China. I think the one at the right in Europe is Rome. And uh, the one slightly below Af um, Australia, not too sure where that is. New Zealand, perhaps, or maybe in the sea. And uh, for some reason, let's see, I think the one in over there above Australia, uh, that's in Southeast Asia. And I think that's potentially Indonesia. Alright, so in any case, that is the end of Assassin's Creed 2. Of course, this being the Deluxe Edition. So, um, in case you guys want to know which version am I playing. Um, on that note, I'll see you guys again with the next installation which i believe is relevations uh i will know for sure when i actually start it and on top of that there is also dragon ball kakarot i think i will actually start on dragon ball first record a few episodes and uh yeah and the very good chance is that uh by the time you hear me say all this um dragon ball kakarot might have already released out there on my channel i will probably try to alternate and I, 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 won't, I won't wait too long because I mean it's only fresh out one week lots of people are probably doing it already so you know let's see if I can have some fresh content up alright so we'll see you guys next time ciao